Hi guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today to share with you a haul video. Um, I have bought a few things from Illamasqua. Um, a couple of weeks ago they had a, I think Twitter, they reached 50,000 followers or something. There was some kind of promotional sale and for the 24 hours they actually had 50% off their entire range. So I took advantage of that, I got a few things. I didn't get everything that I wanted, which kind of sucked, because I got an email a couple of days after the sale saying that the, some of the things, there was a technical error, and some of the things that I ordered they didn't have in stock, so they just refunded me my money. And I'm like, well, instead of refunding me my money, can't you give me, like, swap for other colors or something else? And they said, no, they couldn't do that. So I missed out on about four things, which kind of sucked, but I also doubled up on something that I didn't realize, so. Whatever, we'll get on to that in a minute. And the other things I'm going to show you, I stopped off at MAC yesterday, um, or during the week, and I um, wanted to have a look at one blush. One blush from the new Temperature Rising collection. And I got that blush, and I got a few other things from that collection as well, so I thought I would share them with you today. So let's get into the Illamasqua things first up. So the thing that I got a double up of is I've got this, um, two of these. This is the Illamasqua... Gleam in Aurora. It sells like a cream highlighter and this is amazing. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get it. This is gorgeous. Um, this is what it looks like there. It is just a really sort of shimmery, peachy kind of colour. It just has the nicest sheen to it. Put on your face. It is just beautiful. I'm so glad I picked that one up. The blush that I picked up was Excite. There was a, quite a few other bl the blushes are the main things that I didn't end up getting which kind of sucked a bit. Um, but this colour is Excite that I got. It's kind of like a really bright sort of orangey coral colour. It may be a bit scary to some people, but I think as you blend it out it will look really nice. It would look really, really nice um, if you're really fair and you used a light hand. That would look really nice, but if you're also with someone with darker skin tones, this would look amazing, amazing on people with really dark skin tones. Another thing I picked up here is an eyebrow powder, and this is in the Powder Thunder. I've been using uh, my Sleek Brow Kit for a while, and I love it, but I just sort of saw this for 50% off, so I figured I would get that. That is the colour there. It is actually quite dark. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. It still works with my brows, um, but what I do like to do with it is, instead of like getting a really chiseled out brow, I kind of use this and just like a fluffy blending brush and just sort of brush it through my brows really, really lightly. It gives a lot of definition, but not too over the top. And I really enjoy using that one. I have quite a few brow products um, in my collection now, so I'm going to be doing like a brow comparison kind of video for you soon. So there's the other gleam that I got. I have to put this one in a giveaway as well. I'll have a giveaway soon because um, I've got a few double ups of things that I didn't realize. And I picked up this eyeshadow palette. This is the Compliment palette. The shades there, you've got a cream eyeshadow there and then these three powder eyeshadows. I thought they were really, really nice. Really nice, um, sort of like berry and plums. They were really, really nice for winter. So I picked that up and um, I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, I am actually going to be doing a video series coming up. So I was going through all my, video, my um, makeup palettes and I'm like, I've got so many makeup palettes that I really don't use. So I'm actually going to be going through and to make sure that I use them, I'm going to be doing a video series which is like one palette three ways. So if you've got any palettes that you want me to use, I've got some of like the Steeler palettes, the Naked palette, Urban Decay, um, the Smoked palette. So I just thought, I thought that'd be a fun way to um, use some products in videos and sort of show you different looks that you can get from the one single palette. So um, if you have any palettes in mind that you'd like me to do that too, leave that in a comment bar below as well. Now, getting on to the MAC things, I picked up a couple of things. Um, Temperature Rising Collection is their newest collection. It is the one that came out for like the summertime over in America. It's their summer release. It's a fairly big collection. It's not as big as the Archie Girls collection, which I thought was a bit of a shame. They didn't have things like eyeliners. They didn't have lip liners and things like that. But what they did have, they do have a fairly nice variety of um, products. This is the packaging that the boxes come in. It's sort of um, this bronzy metallic colour. Really, really nice. Everyone raved about the packaging and I agree, it is quite nice. It's got the purple insets and um, the products are also with this bronzy metallic kind of um, finish. They're, people say it's sort of like the NARS products. The NARS ones are a lot more rubbery than this. This one still is quite nice and soft, but is nowhere near like the NARS one. But I do like the um, palettes and I do like the colouring of that. So the eyeshadow palette I picked up was this one, and this is the Bare My Soul palette. 
I thought this was really, really interesting. I love the look of the colours, these two colours here in particular. So the colours here we have Romantico, which is a Velux Pearl. The colour over here is Bear My Soul, which is a luster finish. Friendly, which is another Velux Pearl, and When in Rio is a Frost. When in Rio is like a really, really unusual kind of greeny, browny, duochrome kind of colour. Really, really interesting. Um, it's quite pigmented. It's not as pigmented as I probably would like, but if you put a base underneath, um, it comes up really, really nicely and the colours show, appear really, really nicely in it. So speaking of bases, the one thing I got here from the colour is this Power Chrome Eye Pencil, and this is in Copper Strip. That is what it looks like there, and I'll just... It is a really, really gorgeous coppery brown colour. Um, I wore this one yesterday as an eyeshadow base, so I put this underneath and then these colours on top. It really made that green stand out. But I also found that the entire day I did use an eye primer underneath and it didn't crease, it didn't move, it stayed really, really well. So I was happy about that. The only thing I would like, I'd like to think that the pencil is a bit bigger than that, because that, to me, isn't a full-size pencil. You're paying, like, 30-something dollars for this and it's, like, a dwarf pencil. The bronzer. <laughs> The bronzer I picked up was um, the Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder in Sun Dipped. Now, I haven't used any of the Pro Longwear powders before um, at all, actually, so I was really interested to give it a go. This one was described as like a reddened brown. I don't think there's really much red in it at all. It's probably not actually dark enough to use for me as a contour, so I would use this one as like just to add a bit of like a sun kiss. It has got a hint, the tiniest hint of a shimmer to it as well, which I don't particularly like for contour. So for me, this one will be going around just on the high points of my face to make it look like I've got sort of that bronze sun kiss look. Um, so I will be probably taking this one to uh, Mexico with me next week as well because it's just a really nice colour. The sheen in it is just, it, it's slightly golden, so it sort of does have that nice sort of reflective look to it as well. So um, I love that one. and. Yeah, it's, it has got nice packaging as well, so I am happy I picked that up. Now, the two lip products that I picked up, um, one of them I just it had to get, as soon as I saw a picture of it, it was like, a, I need to get this lipstick. Um, the lipstick I'm actually wearing today, and this is Caliente, and this is one of those Dazzle lipsticks, and it's really interesting. As you can sort of see there, I don't know if it's getting in focus, it's got really sort of chunky bits of glitter in it. And I was a bit unsure about that. I've heard mixed reviews about it. But I'm actually wearing it today. You can't feel the glitter. It doesn't feel gritty or anything on your lips. And I really, really like the colour. I like how it's got that nice, the goldy sort of glitter in it. Just makes your lips have that really nice sheen and glow to it. And I'm really, really, really loving this um, lipstick. And one that I was really, really excited about. If you have seen anything that I've done with the Archie Girls collection, um, the Daddy's Little Girl lipstick is... My absolute favourite lipstick. I think it is amazing. And this is very similar to it, but it's a bit more purple. This one is Feel My Pulse. And it is like a really, really gorgeous purple. This is a cream sheen. And that's it there. It is amazing. I, as soon as I saw that, it was like, that isn't even a question. I need this lipstick. There's only two blushes in the Temperature Rising collection, which is a bit of a shame because I think I'm actually becoming a bit of a blush addict, to be perfectly honest. I'm really, really enjoying blushes. Um, so the two blushes that I've got there, I picked up both of them because they are both, they're just so amazing. They're just, if, if there's only one thing that you can get, out of the entire collection, I would get these blushes because they are fantastic. This one here is Ripe for Love. It is a sort of a light pinky, corally orange colour. It is gorgeous. It is a satin finish and it is just lovely. It's quite pale. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today as well. I wore it yesterday. I got a lot of compliments on it. I really, really love the blush. Really fantastic for um, spring, summer and it's just a really nice all all round colour would be really good for most skin tones. I'm not too sure how it would go if you're incredibly dark, but for the lighter skin tones as well, it's really nice and it does shop nicely on my skin. And this one here is Hot Nights, and this is the one that I went there to look at. This one, again, if you saw the Archie Girls collection, the Prom Princess blush to me is just phenomenal. It is like my absolute all time favourite blush that MAC have released, and I'm annoyed that I didn't get a second one, but I might go to the um. Estee Lauder corporate place and see if they've got one, but it is amazing. 
In case I can't get one, I got this one because this is really, really nice. This is Hot Nights. It is a frost blush. It is so pigmented. Like, that is crazy, insane pigment. You, do, you don't need much of that at all. Like, that is barely touching my hand. If you use this, use a very light hand. Very, 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 very light hand because that is just crazy. Gorgeous. This is just a magic. This is the last blush that I got in the collection. Um, there was a few other things in there, like they had a few more of these pencils here, but I just wanted to get one because I wasn't too sure how they paired up. They had a couple of other lipsticks, but I think there was more suited for like pale skins. So that is it for my haul video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, Illamasqua and had the 50% off sale, so I'm really kind of bummed that I didn't get the extra things that I wanted. I might have to jump online and get them soon. But if there's any products from Illamasqua that you enjoy that you think I might like, please let me know because it's a brand that I haven't really used a lot of and I really like to get into it a bit more. Um, the Temperature Rising Collection, as I said, was really fantastic. I think they're doing such a good job. I'm actually impressed with Mac's um, recent uh, collection releases these days. They had sort of like a middle period where they were sort of Quality, but I think they've actually picked themselves up and I'm really really happy with the things that I've picked up below to my blog And I'll be putting like a um, proper photos and everything of everything on my blog So go and check that out glossyconfidential.com.au I'll wrap that up here um, so I don't ramble anymore I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye